All right, we're gonna be making a simple gear train. Throw a piece in the floor. Get your base plate, C plate. screws Next step is put the bearings on. Now I call them bearings. And to hold them in place, we use little pop rivets. So just pick a spot. Put the bearing on one side. It should kind of stay there. And the pop rivet comes through the other. And it should pop in. Okay. On the other side. And then you're going to make it perpendicular on the other side. Okay. And that should hold our axle nice and smooth. Spacer, so it's not grinding up against the gear, the bearing there. Right. And then you need a collar to secure it in place. Same thing to the other side too, put the collar to secure it in place. So you can loosen up the collar with the 5x64 wrench, Allen wrench, and tighten it up on the axle. It shouldn't move. Okay. Draw the spacer up here. out where this gear is going. I'm assuming right in that hole there. So again, put the bearing. Pop rivet comes in the opposite way. Through. Again, you want to use the same size spacer here on the gear. Right. And then the collar. side, make sure it stays. Right. And 
here, you should have a simple gear train. Okay, so you have the input gear here, the output here. All right, and even install a crank on this side. So you turn the crank. So you turn the crank back here. And you can see both gears turning. All right, and again with that. This is the input because the crank's turning it. That's the output because it's being turned by the crank. All right, hopefully you can do it. Yay!